Hey there, so today I want to talk about something that I find to be rather disturbing. And this is a serious topic. This is something that talks about those skeletons within the industry's closet. You seem to find them over and over again. And I have to say that this kind of discussion, it is a taxing one. I mean, when you look at this industry for a while, you can see why people, they get tired of looking at the dark side of it. Because there is indeed an underbelly to it, a very ugly one at that. Now this, it's going to involve Dave Sim. And when we're looking at this stuff, I want to encourage you to do one thing. I want to encourage you to look up Dave Sim and controversy and see if you can find anything about what we're talking about right here in front of you, this blog spot, because I cannot find anything on it. In fact, the way that I expand on this is because of a source, Edwin Boyette, and I'll mention that in a little bit. But originally, after this came out, I did a lot of research talking about uh, you know everything from a Wikipedia entry to going on and expanding even further, you know, looking into uh, to larger entries. And what I found there were controversies, social, political, religious, and on. And the people that are after him, there are plenty of them, but none of them mention something like this. And you would expect that to be there. So this, it comes up around 36 hours ago. This is indeed a genuine post. It is uh, one from a larger uh, blog spot out there, and you can see what is implied within this. Again, troubling the inference within it, but also vague when we look at it in certain parts like where, you know, what happened from 14 to 21 and on. So Dave Sim, he says here, Travis, I'm glad you like the mouth because that's what I was trying to capture. Blank was the underage one. 14 question mark when I met her at a convention wanting her a Cerebus collection signed. It was a very hard lesson in what happens when romance and lust and protectiveness, uh, skipping the parentheses, get rolled up together. I didn't have sex with her until she was 21 and we broke up three months after her 22nd birthday. Parentheses here. Because she was a child. Dave, child. You protect children. You don't hustle them. Dave. So you see this again, troubling, but again, as well, there are some dots to connect here. If you want to go out, you truly want to say exactly what's in there. Now, when I was researching this, as I said, you can find controversy aplenty, but you keep hitting walls within that because there's nothing about what he talks about there that is easily or not so easily found. Then Edwin Boyette actually contacted me. The reason that he had contacted me is because uh, he had something he didn't want weighing on his conscience. He had talked to Dave Sim. He wanted to go directly to the man because he felt that he might be unfairly maligned within this. I mean, when you think about the context of this conversation, you don't want to add this unfairly. And he wanted to make sure he understood context and that there was clarity. When he contacted me, he was contacting me out of shock. You know, those things that weigh on you um, morally, that weigh on you spiritually, that truly push down on the foundation of presence, yeah, that's something that he had uh, felt within that. He also, when he was um, contacting me afterwards, he contacts Van Skyver. He uh, relays what exactly he has found out. And of course, Van Skyver, well, you can look up his reaction. I have to applaud people for taking this stuff seriously because people don't have to. They can say, yeah, you know, but this kind of stuff, again, is being relayed by Dave Sim. I mean, this is coming from him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to relay a narrative here. You'll have to forgive the way that I'm doing this. I'm going to relay a narrative that basically lays down the foundation, how they meet and on, what he was saying within that, and also I'm going to add in direct quotes from him, some of the things that I find to be rather troubling. Some of the stuff that he said within the blog post, um, he basically he contradicts himself here too, just a note. So it's this all starts off, comic book convention, they meet when a girl walks up. She wants to have her entire collection of Sarah Biss comics autographed. Dave notes that she was the prettiest girl 
he had ever seen, and uh, he was newly separated. So basically, since nobody was there wanting any kind of signature, uh, conversation becomes flirtation, and laughter basically makes him think that she was even prettier. This goes on for a while. Then a guy later on that she was with basically brings up something. But again, hearing this, uh, you know, in its context, yeah. So the guy asked Dave Sim, hey, do you know how old she is? Do you know that she is only 13? Now, Dave Sim, he relates um, something on typified behavior of a 13-year-old and the way that she reacts to this. She ends up proceeding to chase the guy around the convention, beating him over the head with a rolled up poster. You know, again, he's saying that she was acting just like a 13-year-old. So he knew the age and he was seeing the behavior there. He also, within this, he makes two comments. You know, I'm going to uh, go through them you know, with his words to, again, to really relay the way that they come across. The first part, you know, he says that he doesn't want to mislead you. I was definitely a world-class sleazeball at the time. I would sleep with pretty much anyone I found attractive who was interested and think nothing of it. Also, his own words within this, he's saying, again, about a 13-year-old, quote, Pretty underage girls are astonishingly pretty because they aren't fully grown. Their features are cuter and tinier than they will be when they reach adulthood. Unquote. So, uh, yeah, again. So, anyhow, he skips forward talking about, you know, she's outside uh, the con convention waiting for a ride at the end of the convention day. He sees her, you know, he's uh, infatuated. He's watching her staring, and he thinks that it's love at first sight. To the extent that later on in life, when she's uh, you know older and thinking about university, he's actually wondering whether or not it's viable to move nearer. Now, he does note that, again, he doesn't want to mislead you. He doesn't want to marry her. He's a sleazeball. He, uh, he's immune to marriage at the time, but he thought of himself as a good catch. Now, within this area, he starts bringing up the Bible, you know, because he's talking about the beginning and the end of all of this stuff. I'm not going to cover that, but I feel that that is very Dave Sim, so you can see that in its place. Now, regarding contact, his own words, they go like this, quote, I only saw, I'm redacting the name, a handful of times, unquote. So, is he, you know, talking about them getting together, having a relationship? It's very vague within that. He goes through a uh, time that they got together. You know, he talks about them meeting up. They're happy to get together and on. But something goes wrong that night because it's the last time he sees her for about 10 days. You know, he tries to call her and on. Then he talks about a letter coming through in 1991. This is around when she's going to turn 21. So we're talking about an adult her. He talks about, you know, their relationship and on. He talks about the first time that they have sex. I do not want to bring all of that up in that. He talks about, uh, you know, then 1992. He talks about her coming to see him, things not going well, and them breaking up. Now, he, he talks about other things within this. And when he brings up some stuff, I want to bring up something that he notes. And again, I want to note this verbatim. Quote, I violated the Mann Act by colluding with Judith to transport her across state lines in 1985 so we could stay together in my hotel room at another Southern convention. I have a number of photographs I took of her and us together. I think I bought a camera with a timer just for that. Yes, definitely. It was all not wrong or wrong. It was wrong. An underage girl can't give her consent for any of that because because she's a girl, not a woman. I was, as the formal charge would have been, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. While he conveys this, he talks about pictures quite a bit. Adult, adult theme pictures, and in 1985, that portion with the Man Act, he talks about setting that timer that he discussed and thinking, this is the happiest I've ever been in my life. And it still is. Wrong as it was, you can't pretend that your happiest moment wasn't your happiest moment. These are Dave Sims' 
own words. So when you're going through that, you're not picking it up through an article and having someone misinterpret that. No, this is what he conveys on the situation. Him meeting a 13-year-old, him going through knowing the 13-year-old is a 13-year-old, talking about his attraction and on, and the building blocks of a relationship later where he, again, vaguely Talks about seeing her a few times, but also admits to uh, going out and violating the Mann Act by transporting her across state lines in 1985 so she could stay in his hotel room. I'm glad that Edwin had this conveyed to him. I know that he is probably not glad to have actually had to go and disseminate this, and I know that a lot of people, they were shocked by this, but I'm glad that this kind of stuff came up. This kind of stuff it is something that when we look at this industry it needs change we have talked about that many times this is not something that anyone wants or that people can abide but anyhow I'm not going to open that to comments too I know that I ask for your comments normally but I think that this speaks for itself now if you want to support the channel simply like subscribe all of that stuff links within the description as well you can leave comments i definitely will look through them i appreciate you looking through this i appreciate you listening to it and i appreciate your patience as we looked into this i know that this stuff was brought up but it takes a bit of time to go out and to find out exactly what kind of context is out there and well here it is so anyhow i appreciate you thanks for tuning in